Hello, I am Stephen Johnson. I am the chair of the School of Science and Medicine here at Lake Superior State University. And first and foremost, I would just like to say welcome, or I'd like to welcome you for uh, joining me here today. And I am here to talk about the uh, bachelor's degree in cannabis chemistry and the associate's degree in cannabis science. So let me start by talking about myself a little bit. Um, I am a native of the Upper Peninsula of uh, Michigan, so I'm a Uper uh, by heart and I guess by trade as well. I did my undergraduate studies at Northern Michigan University in Marquette, Michigan, and then I went on to get my PhD from Michigan Technological University in Houghton. After that, I convinced slash uh, drugged my wife to Urbana, Illinois to do a postdoc at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and then finally started my career in academia at the University of New England in beautiful uh, Biddeford, Maine. But my dream and my goal was always to get back to the Upper Peninsula. And so um, actually after only a couple of years, I was able to come back here and uh, yeah, so that's why I'm here today to, to speak with you. So first of all, let's uh, kind of talk about what the cannabis chemistry uh, program, both the bachelor's and the associates, are meant to accomplish. So what we want to do is really focus on public safety. So we're looking at enforcement, regulation, and public health and safety in terms of uh, the consumption of, of, of cannabis um, in its various forms. So our goal is to train the next generation of scientists who are really going to be kind of behind the scenes and doing the analysis of some of these things. Um, if you look at California and Oregon and, and Colorado uh, with the legalization of marijuana, along with it came a whole host of regulations. And so currently Michigan is working on, on that as well. And what we're looking at is the use of instrumentation uh, to determine if there are potentially things that are left over or residual in some of these cannabis, uh, cannabis products that would, would hurt the user. So specifically things like heavy metals, which the plants can pick up from the soil, uh, residual residual solvents from the extraction process, pesticides that are left over from the, the growth operations, and then finally things like mycotoxins that come from aspergillus or fusarium that that uh, can really hurt the uh, the end user. So again, this is an analytical type program. Um, let me go over some of the courses that we have uh, built into the program that really lend itself well to to cannabis chemistry. So first and foremost, it's a chemistry degree. Uh, upon graduation, you will be a chemist with a specialization in cannabis. One of the nice things about the program is that we don't use uh, surrogate products. So our goal here and what we will do is actually use cannabis plant material um, in the courses, both hemp and marijuana. Um, so you begin out with your traditional chemistry courses, things like general chemistry, organic chemistry, quantitative analysis, instrumental analysis, biochemistry. But as the as as it progresses, we also have cannabis courses every year. So your first year here, you would take cannabis chemistry one. It's a one credit seminar course. It kind of introduces you to the the whole program. Uh, also that year, we take cannabis chemistry two, which is also one credit. Then as you move forward, you start working into some of the laboratory classes. So your second year, you would take cannabis plant uh, uh, preparations, um, which is a course which is using plant material again to get ready for analysis. Uh, third year, we have medicinal chemistry, which discusses some of the effects, um, among other things, but cannabinoids on, on humans and, and how they affect humans. And then kind of the, the capstone course would be Chem 440, which is gonna be uh, a plant, cannabis plant separations course. And that's really one of the defining features of the program is that again, you're using plant material and you're doing hands-on analysis with state-of-the-art instrumentation. So currently on site, we have instrumentation such as, and again, this is acronym uh, SOUP, but NMR, uh, ICPMS, GCMS, HPLC. But we are currently working on acquiring um, upwards of $2 million in new state-of-the-art instrumentation to be used in the cannabis program. Um, it'll be housed in a 2,600 square foot facility. And you're gonna be able to learn cannabis chemistry by doing cannabis chemistry, and there's no better way to do it. When you leave here, what we want you to do is to be able to go and talk to employers 
so you can have a conversation about the chemistry and, and cannabis itself. But more importantly, enter the workforce and be able to start working using instrumentation, since that's what a lot of these jobs will hold. So what is a day in a cannabis chemistry major going to look like? Well, obviously, it's going to vary year to year and day to day. But like I said, it's a lot of hands on chemistry. So you would expect in a typical semester, based on how many credits you're having, that you could be in lecture from anywhere to, let's say, 12 to 15 hours a week and have a comparable amount of, of laboratory time, um, again, hands-on instruction. So year to year, I kind of discussed some of the uh, different courses you take. And again, getting you in the laboratory, uh, specifically dealing with cannabis as early as your second year out of the four years. Some big things happen as you move towards your senior year. Um, so specifically your third year, you're gonna take a course called junior seminar in which you're gonna propose a, a research project um, if you choose to do one um, and we kind of try to link you up with an advisor that's going to mentor you through that process and then the end of your junior year and the beginning of your senior year what you're going to be doing is uh, working on actual novel research that will uh, uh, culminate in a poster presentation uh, a written thesis and then a, a presentation defense of sorts so it's kind of mentoring you and giving you the tools, all the tools that you're going to need, again, when you leave after four years. So what I tell prospective students is why come to Lake State? First of all, it's a tight-knit family. Now, we do have small class sizes, but again, all universities will advertise that they have small class sizes. But I think what sets us apart is that you will have access to faculty and resources that you would not have elsewhere. Um, that's one of the defining features. So we're accessible day to day, you can come talk to us and, and we're really here to help you and mentor you on your way. We have opportunities to um, work within the department. So let's say you are on, uh, what is it? let's say you're looking for a job when you're at school. It's one thing to say to work in the cafeteria washing dishes. It does show that you're reliable and you can hold down a job, but it's not as strong on a resume as say working in our environmental analysis lab or in our chemistry stock room or doing lab preparation. So we really try to take care of our own and allow students to have opportunities such as that. Also in the summer, we're pretty active in working and um, in, well, currently developing uh, agreements so that we can have students can be, or students can partake in internships at various operations throughout the state of, Michi uh, state of Michigan. Additionally, we also hire summer workers and a lot of students stay here and actually do research for the summer. Um, on top of that, we have students that are nationally competitive for things like research experience for undergraduates and, uh, and a number of students do that during the summer. So why is that important? Again, when you leave here, you need to have a resume and on that resume, a summer, again, a summer job at Dairy Queen is nice, but a summer job dealing with your area of expertise, chemistry or cannabis uh, chemistry, is indeed nicer. So upon graduation, what's going to get your foot in the door and, and get you an interview, interview really is going to be your resume. But additionally, it's going to be reference letters. Now, let's say you're at a larger institution and I taught chemistry there and you're one of four or 500 students. You may do really well and you may want a reference letter um, for a scholarship or, or a summer job, something like that. Well, there's not really a whole much I can a whole bunch I can say about you. If I've only had you in one course, I may or may not know your name if you're one of 400 students. Um, so it really makes for a, a pretty weak reference. Here at Lake State, let's say you're in my chemistry class of 60 students, and I get to know all their names and, and their backstories. And then say I have you again for toxicology or biochemistry. So at this point, we developed a relationship. Uh, additionally, you might have done some research in my laboratory. So when you're leaving here, a lot of the references that you have from faculty members are going to be strong references and and not a one or two line type recommendation. So the references and the resumes will get you in the door, but ultimately it's up to you to seal the deal if you're on a job interview. And so your knowledge of the instrumentation of the chemistry and us teaching you how to communicate scientifically is what will push you through to the next level to actually secure employment. This is a new program, um, but in terms of our chemistry and biochemistry and forensic chemistry majors, 
we have job placement rates that are very close to 100%. We have additional exciting things coming up. Like I said, you can right now earn a bachelor's or get an associate's degree. Uh, we currently announced that the business, School of Business, is going to be offering a cannabis business degree. Um, for those of you that are more business-minded, uh, entrepreneurial um, um, type individuals, in addition, we're currently working on, or I should say developing uh, courses that would be more on the production side of cannabis. So there's a lot of good things um, to come. So why cannabis chemistry, why Lake Superior State University, and why now? As many of you know, the state of Michigan has recently legalized recreational marijuana along with Canada. Our location um, is, is unique in that we are a, a border city with just a bridge separating us from Sioux, Ontario. Additionally, timing-wise, Lake Superior State now is becoming one of the first programs that is actually going to have a degree in cannabis chemistry that's not using plant surrogates. So our graduates will have a number of opportunities, and they're going to have the chance to be on the, the, the forefront of this field. Um, they're predicting 22% uh, growth per year in jobs, and for the program to grow roughly about five, excuse me, uh, the, the industry to grow roughly five folds, uh, uh, the amount is now from roughly nine billion to 45 billion um, over the next uh, decade or so. So there's gonna be a lot of opportunity there. Um, so what can the students do? Well, there's gonna be, there's multiple aspects in terms of, of cannabis. You know, there's the, the growth aspect, there's the analysis, analysis aspect, and also the business aspect. So someone may have a business fee, but may not have the, the, the knowledge regarding cannabis. So I feel like students that are able to, to uh, uh, major in cannabis chemistry, but maybe additionally take some courses in, in cannabis business, it'll give them a, a, a unique resume that someone is not going to have. Um, let's say that the market becomes saturated with individuals in, in related degrees. Well, Again, at the end of the day, remember that it's a chemistry degree and our students, based on their training and their use of instrumentation, we're going to have no issues uh, finding other chemistry related jobs. So what's next? With the cannabis chemistry program coming online this fall, please feel free to apply. There's a link there, lssu.edu slash apply free, along with contact information. Also, feel free to contact me directly, sjohnson18 at lssu.edu. If you do happen to be on campus, let's say in the summer, uh, for a tour, make sure that you check the box that says you'd like to be with a faculty member. I would be happy to make sure I'm around to give you a personal tour of the department and to look at some of the instrumentation and answer any questions you may have. I guess with that said, I will open it up to the, uh, the webinar and, and answer any questions or, or anything else that you may have.